In this video, we'll explore the intricate process of creating a universe. We'll start from the cosmic origins and move through the establishment of celestial bodies before we talk about our world's deities and the foundational laws that govern everything. Hi everyone, my name is Sasha and this video is part of my ongoing deep dive into the realms of storytelling, world building and fantasy writing. Creating a universe is a formidable task. It's where the vast expanse of space meets the depth of mythology. For many, the challenge lies in crafting something that's both boundlessly imaginative and cohesively structured. Today, we'll tackle this challenge head on. And in order to help deepen the understanding of the process, I will share insights from my own universe Celestara for every step of the way. So enough with the introduction, let's jump right in. In the last episode, we chose aspects such as concepts and themes for our world. Crafting the cosmic origin of our universe is now the first practical step of world building. One thing to clarify here is the distinction between universe and world. To me personally, universe refers to the entire cosmic expanse that encompasses all realities, dimensions and celestial bodies. In contrast, a world is a specific entity within a universe, akin to a single planet or realm each with its own unique characteristics and stories. So in my case, Celestara is the name of my universe and Alitera is the central world that I'm focusing on. Now, imagine the cosmic origin as the big bang of your entire universe, giving birth to your world and everything needed for its existence. It's a singular, monumental event that sets everything into motion. As we did in the last episode, we begin by choosing a central theme. This universe theme could be harmony, chaos, creation, destruction, or anything that resonates with the stories you want to tell. Think about how the theme will influence the overall tone and structure of your universe. For instance, if you choose chaos, your universe as a whole might be born from a cosmic collision or explosion. If your theme is discovery, your universe might have been unveiled through the exploration of an ancient entity that revealed worlds and stars as it traveled through the void. Now, be aware that unless you want to and have the required knowledge for it, your cosmic origin doesn't have to be complex or scientifically detailed. It can be as simple as a metaphorical concept, the dream of a sleeping giant, or a dance of cosmic spirits. Alternatively, your universe could have emerged from an ancient cosmic tree with each branch representing a unique world or realm. In the end, we want to craft and expand our actual world, so what we need for that here is nothing more than an understanding of the type of universe our world inhabits. For instance, my universe, Celestara, was birthed from what is known as the Celestial Convergence. This convergence is just a poetic way of saying that diverse cosmic forces and energies came together and merged in a spectacular event. This event led to the creation of the Ethereal Sea, a vast reservoir of cosmic energy that represents the universe's lifeblood and the source of all magic. Now, the vigilant among you might remember from the last episode that I referenced themes such as heroism, exploration and the struggle for survival as central for my own world Alitera. At first glance, a cosmic origin based on harmony might seem contradictory here. But don't worry, we'll get to the explanation for that in relation to the celestial bodies. When selecting celestial bodies, consider their overall role and influence on your world. Start with a star, the heart of any planetary system. Its size, brightness and distance from your world will define the planet's climate and day cycles, shaping the environment and the lives of its inhabitants. Stars can be diverse, from hot bright giants to cooler dimmer dwarfs, each setting a unique stage for your stories. Including moons can then add further complexity. They could affect tides, weather and even cultural beliefs. A planet with multiple moons might experience complex tidal patterns, influencing both natural ecosystems and societal development, which could include moon-based myths and legends. With a binary star system where two stars orbit each other, you could create a setting for even more dramatic environmental effects on your world. Such a system could lead to unusual seasonal patterns and varying periods of light and dark, directly impacting agriculture, daily life and cultural practices. Another completely different take would be to imagine a universe where a wandering rogue planet as your world drifts through different star systems. Its environment and societies would be constantly adapting to new celestial influences. In the end, there are boundless options. The main question I would focus on is, what does your world need so that it can fulfill the desired purpose you have for it? For Celestara, I chose an unconventional approach, focusing exclusively on a triad of planets, Solara, Lunara and Alitera. There are no traditional stars or moons, which goes back to my desire for a deep mystical foundation. 
Solara, the first of the triad, is a blazing world of intense light and heat. It's a planet where day never ends, its surface radiating with relentless solar energy. This constant illumination not only influences its own fiery landscapes, but also casts its powerful rays onto Alitera. Lunara, in stark contrast to Solara, is a realm of perpetual night. It's a mystical world where the darkness is alive with softly glowing lights and ethereal energies. Lunara's influence on Alitera is most evident in the regions that bask in its gentle nocturnal glow. The ethereal sea is what illuminates and energizes the three planets, a role usually attributed to stars. Sensitive to the opposing celestial forces of Lunara and Solara, the ethereal sea is in constant motion, being especially turbulent at the intersection where Alitera exists. In the absence of moons, it is this ebb and flow of its energies that dictates the rhythms of life, weather patterns and even magical cycles on all three planets. In the end, it is the unique central position at the epicenter of this combination of cosmic energy and celestial forces that forms the root cause of the vast variety of conflicts as well as natural and supernatural beings on Alitera. So while the universe itself was birthed in harmony, the conflicting energies from Lunara and Solara, enhanced by the magical nature of the ethereal sea, is what represents the origin of Alitera's vibrant yet equally dangerous nature. Now if you found anything useful in the video so far, please consider giving it a like to help me grow this channel. Thank you. Creating the divine entities in your universe is a fascinating journey that goes beyond just naming gods and goddesses. First, decide on the structure of your divine hierarchy. Will it be a single, omnipotent creator, a pantheon with specialized domains, or perhaps an abstract, spiritual force without personification? Each choice shapes your storytelling differently. A singular deity might symbolize the unity of your universe, while a pantheon allows for a rich representation of unique aspects such as nature, or morality or culture. For a pantheon, start by defining each god's domain, personality and backstory. These deities should mirror the key themes of your universe. In a world centered on war, for instance, a god of battle would be fitting. In Celestara, I created gods such as Eterna, the weaver of time and fate, who intricately controls the threats of destiny. There is also Vitalis, the guardian of life and nature, ensuring the vibrancy and diversity of life. Their roles and stories are intertwined with the fundamental forces of the universe, influencing the narrative and the cultural evolution on Alitera. Next, consider the relationship among your gods. The alliances, conflicts and even romances can reflect the complexity of human relationships, adding layers to your world's mythology. These divine dynamics can explain natural phenomena, historical events or cultural practices in your world. For universes without traditional gods, consider concepts like animism or universal energy. Here, divinity might be seen in nature, objects or life's essence. This approach offers spiritual depth without personification, ideal for stories where nature or the universe itself is revered. Another option is dualism, where two opposing forces govern the universe. This can be manifested as a struggle between light and dark, order and chaos, or good and evil. This approach shapes the moral and physical landscapes of your world, creating a rich backdrop for stories around conflict and balance. Remember, the role and nature of your deities should align with your universe's overall narrative and tone. In a world focused on human-centric stories, gods may play a symbolic or background role, while in high fantasy they might actively intervene in mortal affairs. Visual representation is also important. The symbols associated with your gods will become iconic in your world, appearing in art, architecture and literature. For instance, in Celestara, Eterna's symbol is two mirrored faces, one aged, one young, symbolizing past, future and the fate that lies in between. Lastly, think about how your gods affect daily life. Do they require rituals, offer blessings or grant magical powers? This will influence religious practices, festivals and politics within your world in later stages of world building. These aspects are also influenced by your world's concept and themes. In case you haven't watched the first episode of this world building series yet, make sure to check it out at the top. So far we've delved into cosmic origins, celestial bodies and deities. Now let's focus on one last critical component, the foundational laws that govern your universe. These laws form the bedrock of both the physical realities and the mystical elements of your world, shaping everything from the orbit of planets to the subtleties of magical energies. When setting up the physical laws, consider how they mirror or differ from our own. Does your universe adhere to the familiar laws of gravity and time, or does it challenge these concepts? For example, in a universe where gravity varies dramatically, you might have floating islands or species adapted to different gravitational conditions. 
In Celestara, the gravitational forces and orbital mechanics are influenced by the interactions within the ethereal sea, creating unique celestial phenomena. These only affect the mystical parts of Celestara though, while Alitera as its central world follows similar physical laws to those on Earth. This decision was made consciously to allow for the desired type of storytelling and to not overwhelm the reader with too many unfamiliar things. Now, the metaphysical laws, especially if your world includes magic, need to be thoughtfully crafted as well. Decide on how magic is accessed and its limitations. Does using magic drain physical energy or does it require a balance with natural forces? In a world where magic is tied to natural elements, consider how changing seasons might affect magical abilities. In Silistara, magic stems from the ethereal sea, governed by a harmonious balance that dictates its flow and use. Mystara, as a patron of magic and the arcane, oversees this balance, ensuring that magical energy drawn from the ethereal sea does not cause a cataclysmic imbalance. This design ensures that magic complements rather than overshadows the physical world, creating a harmonious interplay between the mystical and the material. You should also explore how the physical and metaphysical realms interact. Is there a peaceful coexistence, or do they conflict and create anomalies? For example, in a world where magic disrupts electrical technology, you might have a society that shuns modern devices in favor of enchanted objects. Alternatively, in a universe where spiritual energy might affect physical health, medical practices might blend traditional healing with spiritual rituals. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for building a cohesive universe. It is also important to consider how the foundational laws affect technological development. In a universe with abundant magical energy, technology might evolve differently focusing on harnessing magical forces. Alternatively, in a world with harsh physical laws, technology might advance to overcome environmental challenges. For instance, in a world with extreme weather conditions, technology might be geared towards survival and adaption, leading to advanced architectural designs and weather prediction systems. As you craft these laws, consider how they will be perceived and interacted with by the inhabitants of your universe. This will ensure that your universe and any world within it remain internally coherent and engaging for your audience. Above all, ensure consistency in your laws. They should form a logical framework that supports your universe's narrative. Inconsistencies can break immersion and undermine the believability of your entire creation. But for now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Have a great day and see you in the next one.